as we started small in a way and moving forward i call me scott a small UN. we don't need experts we are the experts miss scott has to be taken to the next level and so it's like when you asked about 20 years to come of course i want this organization to be like a small event you know we'll not be given money through the international governments mm -hmm. not not by agencies mm -hmm. but we'll be getting you know agencies coming to consult to us like how do we engage with the youth here how do we move forward from this point you know now the the sittings in new york and geneva will, will be less more you know people say why do we go to geneva when we can go to miss Scott and discuss these issues you know i believe the challenges we are facing with the uh, housing i know if there is a minister who come from who will lead this nation to a better place should be a minister coming from Mungan. how will the youth be involved into housing how will children be involved in housing because children need a space to play but if our playing grounds are being grabbed then where are the kids today going to explore their images and realize their future. Since I've known Mungano, you know, transformation is key. I challenge Mungano to take the innovation bit to the next level because housing and sanitation and good environment belongs to all of us, the children, the young, the old. But how are we going to do this? We need to do this by, you know, joining forces and putting our focus to achieving the right thing. You know, I've seen the can be motto housing. They are lower housing. And they know the, the places they are built on, it's, you know, Nairobi is in a way that we do, we do not have to build high rises because of the environment. Nairobi is a place of water, you know. Initially, it's all covered with water. So if you put in our flats and you're not so sure what materials you're using to construct uh, construction, then it means it's a disaster in waiting. There are disasters in waiting in Nairobi. Mathare, Huruma, Gidurai, Zimmerman, you know, house collapsing because they are built in a way that they look like this. Have you ever seen houses? Like, they are, yeah, they are built, but they almost look bad. If there are people living in this house, they should vacate. You'd rather even live in Korobosho than living in a high rise, that you soon be a disaster to you. So you see, we are only waiting on time bomb disasters when we know we are the people who have the, you know, the knowledge to come out of them. The housing in Nairobi should go back to, you know, drawing board. If Kambi Moto was built in a in a way, you know, in a friendly cheap and materials not so expensive but to the to the to the needs of the place then i think our chief designers and planners are to blame mungan is in the right place on housing issues it's high time now that we should take the bull by its horns tell the Ministry of Housing, Ministry of Lands, you're either here to kill or you're here or you to quit from your job. If people are dying on, on, your, on, your, on your ministry, it's, it involves land, it involves housing. Then I think they are, they are giving people road who earmarks for planning and building constructions. All houses in Nairobi should go back to the drawing board. Did the landlord understand the needs of the people? So if he did not understand the needs of the people, he should be blamed. So housing, Mungana, we are in housing. <laughs> I think it's, it's something that we need to look into it and say, okay, how do we start challenging the process? Because again, the youth are there. They will go to cheap, you know, cheap and expensive i would say because if you go to something cheap and then your life is gone it's expensive if anything does not meet the needs of the people then we should just stop and ask ourselves are we doing the right thing
at Miss Scott, we always have to have to ask ourselves, are we doing the right thing? If you're not meeting the needs of the children out there, then I think we're getting lost. So even as we're doing our education, we engage parents. If the children are not performing well, we sit with the parents. Where is the problem? So that we have the solution. Are the parents giving children time to play? Are they giving children time to study? Are they following them to school to see if... Just check. Did she come to school? Did he come to school? If not, where did they go? Why do we want to wait until we have a disaster and say, oh, my child was involved. How? No, where were you as a parent? So I believe Mungano, as they celebrate 20 years this year, it's a start. It's just the beginning. We are marking the beginning, not the end. Eh? It's now... The journey starts now, and this journey now starts on a high because we've felt the challenges, we've seen the heat within the informal settlements, we've seen the heat in the, in, in the upmarket, but how do we take it forward? How can the real, real estate realize within the informal settlements, within the people's settlements? So if Mungano should take this as a starting point towards realizing how is our land and housing going to go to the next level? And it's a challenge then that they need to start venturing into the government systems to realize these goals. We have to take the bull by its horns.